Hello everybody, welcome back to Golden Dragon Games, I'm your host Rocky2815 and welcome to our first ever Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens set review. Just had to do a dramatic pause there. And this is set number 75099, Ray Speeder, ages 7 to 12. This is the smallest set, it retails for $20 in the US, 20 euros I do believe, and it retails for £20. This is the smallest of the LEGO Star Wars Force Awakens sets. Um, there are cheaper sets than this, but they are the battle packs, so you could sort of say they're set, but they're classed as battle packs. Um, I might get around to reviewing them if I ever get them. But anyway, let's start off with the review. Okay, everybody. First of all, we are going to start off with Ray Speeder and then finish with the minifigures. So, this is Ray Speeder. It comes with her staff, of course, um, which is actually rumoured to be a certain Sith Lord's staff. Darth Plagueis. Who said that? Anyway, so, it's a neat little build for £20. It's got two of these stud shooters on the side, so just shoot like that. And like that. Just flew a very far way. And I like how they use these grill pieces to resemble the engine on the front, but also more stickers on the side, so like that's a bit of weathered paint, I guess. And then the console, she holds these two control sticks, but also this is a sticker as well, nice, nice little neat sticker of some sort of control panel, but also it comes with chainsaw, some binoculars, and a gun, I, at least I think it's a gun. Actually, yeah, it looks like one of those old style guns that they used to give to the um, Django Fett and Possibly Boba Fett minifigures, but also it does come with spare, you know, translucent red, you know, studs to reload the cannons with, but also it did come with more, but uh, there's a handy little place to store them. So, if we... Now, we've got these two little engine pieces here. We take the bottom one, we turn it to the left, it opens that door. Actually, I'll redo that so you can see it better like this. So, we turn it to the left or to the right. And then we turn it again. This is really hard with the camera in the way a bit. And then these doors magically open. Now, you know, like this is supposed to be like an engine, but also we have got this which is a little storage thing. Does not fit Ray's mask inside, but it does fit more of these red studs in. It's a nice little, neat little build for £20. Possibly should have been less money because, well, it's a good set. The only complaint I have about it is that it doesn't come with BB-8. After all, the only way to get BB-8 is one of the more expensive sets being Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter set, or whatever it's called. But also, I think BB-8 also comes in the new Millennium Falcon set, but I could be wrong. I'm. You'll have to double check that. But anyway, let's go on to the minifigures, because my camera is on three minutes of battery, and I need to round up this video and go and edit and write script for another video and stuff. Okay, first of all, we're starting off with the Uncars Fug. That was actually quite hard to pronounce. But anyway, hashtag Fug's Life, because he's Fug, get it? But anyway... Very nice printing on him, you know, he's got some nice silver sort of jacket, so, you know, 
because he's a thug, he's got these sort of tattered clothes. Also, he probably lives on the planet of Jakku, which is where the movie first part of the movie takes place, or at least five minutes of it, I'm not sure, I haven't seen the movie yet, but also he comes with the golden crowbar accessory weapon, because as shown on the box, he is trying to basically destroy Ray's speeder, or something like that, but also if we take his hood off, he has like this robotic looking face, so I'm not sure if this guy's actually in the movie, or something, but, uh, probably is, hopefully. This is another made-up thing Lego's put in. But anyway, it looks like he's either some sort of cyborg, droid, robot thing, or he's just, like, an alien with, like, a mask on to protect him from the sandstorms. But anyway, if we go around, it has some nice back printing with some desert sand details, and his head is sort of a, I would say, a gunmetal grey, or close to a silver, but not quite silver. Maybe a dark silver, you would call it, I'm not sure. But anyway, that is the Uncar's Fug, and maybe this Uncar person is basically the new sort of Mafia Jabba the Hutt type figure for Star Wars Episode 7, or something like that. That's all I'm guessing. But anyway, on to our last minifigure being Rey. Okay, and here we have got Rey, who is played by Daisy Ridley in the Star Wars Episode 7 movie. This is a great minifigure. They could have put a little bit more detail into this figure, but overall, I think they did a fantastic job, especially with the face and the hair, which are movie accurate for definite, but also, she has this little pouch on her, which I'll just quickly take off of her, and there goes her hair, hang on just one moment. Okay, there's her without her satchel thing, then you can properly see the front torso printing which continues down to the legs, no printing on either side of the arms, printing on the back of the torso and then here's a closer look at her hair and she does have double sided face so this is a more serious face, this is more yeah I'm okay, maybe I'm happy or something. <laughs> But anyway, let's put her little satchel bag back on and show you her desert sort of mask which has the little light on the side and it, you know, wraps around her head like so. And very nice detailing on the goggles. Again, possibly Lego could have done more detailing. I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the full thing better. So yeah, overall LEGO could have done a bit better, like adding BB-8 into this, and that would have made it even better. Also, it would have been a nice, cheap way of getting BB-8, but hopefully he will come in a smaller set next year, or some sort of poly bag like we did with the exclusive C3 3PO. But anyway... Let's uh, go and do the outro now. Okay, everybody, let's do the outro now. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember to, well, you know the drill of doing all the liking, the commenting, the sharing, and the subscribing stuff. But until next time, stay golden, stay frosty, and bye -sies.